I think a lot of us know how to dress classy or what looks classy, but the biggest problem is that you put together that classy outfit and it just kind of feels kind of boring or it kind of feels very cookie cutter or it just like, just doesn't feel like us. I think a lot of the very traditional, what we think of when we think of classy outfits can feel a little bit like out of the magazine and not very personal. And so for me, oftentimes it's important for me to look classy, but I still want it to look like my own personal style and I still want it to look unique and I still want it to be me. Take for instance, this outfit of this silk polka dot skirt, which I love. And a lot of you guys, I'm sorry, I linked it in another video and I don't know what was going on with my links that day, but um, hopefully it'll be linked correctly this time. But anyway, silk polka dot skirt and I have just a basic black long sleeve top with it and it looks fine. It's very classy. There's nothing wrong with it. It, you know, it looks great. It's fine. But the shape feels a little bit monotonous. Like there's nothing that really breaks it up. So what I personally like better, and I think it still looks classy, but it looks a little bit more special and unique is to wear a more voluminous top. So I have um, a little bit oversized top, which I, you know, cropped it with, um, this band thing I found on Amazon. I will link that below. I like this contrast a lot better with a skirt with a little bit more voluminous top, but I also really love, instead of pairing it back with black, which seems like the obvious choice is to go, go with something that's like a beige or another neutral, which I think it looks a little bit more interesting to me. Then the same color black, I also just like this vest. I feel like it's a bit unexpected and a little bit more interesting than just the plain black top. I think sometimes we can have it in our minds that anything really out there or just very trendy or just really um, just super unique is not classy, it's like something else. But I don't think that's true at all. I mean, you look at celebrities like Olivia Palermo, Victoria Beckham, they both have a very unique style. Olivia Palermo, I love her style, but half the things she's wears, I'm like, I don't think I like that. But I love, I love her style and I just love the risks that she takes and everything. But there's probably not a single outfit of hers that you see her in that I would say, oh, she doesn't look classy. Like maybe it's something I wouldn't wear or maybe I don't like that combination, but she always looks very classy. Same with Victoria Beckham. She has a very unique style, but it always looks very classy, except maybe her Spice Girl era, but she just looked like, you know, a Spice Girl and Spice Girls are Spice Girls. So <laughs> I digress. Taking a page out of Olivia and Victoria's book, they always make sure their clothes fit well and nothing is too tight and pinching or ill-fitting. They do stick to classy styles, but they do love playing around with color, and that's a way you can always keep things interesting. When you go this route and you start taking a few risks with fashion, you may wear something that later you decide you don't like, but I still think it's really fun to try it. But you also notice that these two ladies always look very current. Like you're never gonna see them wearing something super out of style. They are not necessarily slaves to fashion or not looking like super trendy, but they're not wearing things that are generally considered out of style. And sometimes when things are a little bit out of style, they can feel to us like they're just kind of boring or they're just kind of stale because it feels like the same thing we've been wearing for 10 years because it is the same thing you've been wearing for 10 years. <laughs> so to make it a little less boring, you can sometimes just update a couple of things and it makes that outfit feel a little bit more special. My example here are skinny jeans with super high heels. I got rid of my five inch platform heels, rightly so, and they were, I, I will never go back to those. I wish I wouldn't have because it would have been perfect for this outfit. Um, but skinny jeans, super high heels, and a crop blazer. It's very classy, but it just feels a bit dated. The skinny jeans with the high, high heels, that combination looks a little bit dated right now. And so if I swap the skinny jeans with something with a little bit wider leg or even a straight leg, there's nothing wrong with the skinny jeans and the high heels with this outfit. But to me, it just feels kind of stale, a little bit dated because I feel like I wore this 12 years ago. And so this is just a good update for me. I have not been into my skinny jeans lately, but if you, if I did go with my skinny jeans, I would trade the really high heel out with a lower heel, like a kitten heel or even a flat shoe. And I feel like that looks more current. However, I will say, I do think in the next few years, um, stiletto, really high five inch stiletto heels will eventually make a comeback. Not on this girl. I mean, they will not ever be coming back into my 
existence, but eventually they will. I don't know about these skinny jeans. I mean, whenever things come back around, it's usually in a little bit altered way. But here, we're just looking at the combo. Skinny jeans, super high heels. Right now, it doesn't feel very current. It does feel a little bit stale, and I think it just swapping out a couple things. Makes this outfit still very classy, but it feels a little bit more current. This video is sponsored by a company I've worked with several times. I love the quality of their clothing, and it's Goelia. I wanna show you a few of the pieces from Goelia. I do have a few mixed into this video, but I wanted to highlight a few details on these real quick before we move on to the rest of the video. So I have these pants. They're silk pants from Goelia, and let me tell you, this might be one of my favorite pair of pants um, that I have gotten in a long time because they, A, they're silk, they just feel so nice, they're like just super lightweight, but they have a really cool texture to them. I don't know if you can see them on the video, hopefully you can. I could wear these with my low heeled shoes. These are high-waisted, very easy basic outfit, but it looks very elevated, very classy. It's gonna keep me cool during the warmer months. These two knit tops that I'm wearing with these black pants are also from Goelia. They're just easy little knit tops. I love them for like a sleeveless outfit, but still look classy and put together. This silk trench coat, I've had my eye on for a while and I love this because it works during some of the warmer months here in Florida if I need an outer layer, but I don't need much fabric. It's also dressy enough to wear over a fancy dress, but can also be dressed down with more casual pieces. Leah always does an amazing job with these Chanel inspired jackets and this little blue one goes so easily into spring. It's fully lined and I personally love this with jeans or something casual but also has a matching skirt that you can buy separately. I'm always impressed with the detail of these jackets and how well they're made and how well they're priced. These white denim pants are like a cross between a trouser pant and a denim pant, and I have them featured in this video a lot because they are such a great example of a classy elevated pant, but I love that they're not super heavy and they have movement to them. They also have pleats like a trouser pant, so you can easily pair it with something really basic and dress it up or dress it down. Here I have it paired with an off-shoulder striped cotton top from Goelia. Very cute, classic piece that's perfect for the warmer months. The silk polka dot skirt you've already seen, polka dots are a big trend this spring and I love that it has an elastic waist and such a great fit. It's silk so it's super breathable even when it gets hot. It's fully lined and with the elastic waist, you can actually move it up your waist or move it down to wherever it sits the way you want it. I've got two little black tops, black knit tops from Goelia. They are both made of merino wool, which is actually very lightweight and very breathable and not itchy. I do get itchy with traditional wool, but I do think it's very easy tops to put on with a pair of jeans. I love the sleeves that go down here. This is like my ideal sleeve length right here. So just a really cute top. And I love the asymmetrical neckline. It just gives us something a little different, you know? Instead of your traditional neckline, it's a basic black top, but this makes it a little bit extra special. So I do have a discount code for you. I will link it below in the description box and I will link everything I'm wearing in the description box below and let's continue. I don't think we can have a video about talking about looking classy, but not boring without talking about accessories because accessories are a really cool way that, especially if you're putting together a very classic outfit or something that is very more cookie cutter or just more traditional, um, a really great way to express yourself and to have your own personal style is through your accessories. I think all of us, we can all look at accessories and love them, but a lot of the times the way we want to wear them or what we pair them with can be a little bit unique and special. And also these are really great at elevating a very basic outfit. Now the thing here for me, if my outfit is doing a lot of talking, if I do have a very bold statement outfit on, I'm gonna probably wear very minimal accessories or maybe some little gold hoops or little pearls or you know something that's not crazy out there, depending on where I'm going, okay? Um, but if I have a very basic outfit on, I almost look at that like a blank canvas. You know, I feel like I can kind of add a little bit more layers onto it in the accessory department, and those are kind of the star of the show, whereas my basic outfit is the background. So I really love doing that personally. Um, accessories are very personal, and I would go with what feels good to you. If you put on big earrings and a big necklace and it feels like way too much, as I often do, then maybe you take the earrings off and put on something little here, or you take the necklace off. You know, you have to really kind of go what feels right to you what looks good on somebody else and may work for them. Great example, she looks amazing all the time, but if I were to go put on that exact outfit that she has on, um, I don't think I would look, I just, it wouldn't be me. It just wouldn't be me. 
So I can't, I can only be me. There's only one me and I gotta be it. So <laughs> you, know, you have to go with what works for you. But accessories can be so much fun to use to really make an outfit more interesting, especially if you like to wear a lot of basics and classic pieces like I do. Another way that I feel like our classy outfits can feel a little bit boring to us is if they're all in the same genre. So one outfit that I think is very classy is um, a white button down and some trouser pants. And that is a very classy look, right? But for me, it just feels a little bit boring for me. I mean, you, it, this is personal preference. It just feels a little bit boring. So I would wanna swap either one of those out. So maybe I swap the trouser pants for some jeans and some cute shoes and maybe some fun jewelry and then maybe a cool handbag. Or let's say I swap the button down up for a black tank top. I love this outfit, by the way. A black tank top, a belt, uh, my black bag. I think that look still looks very classy, but it looks more interesting to me. I think the main thing to remember is that um, to dress classy does not have to be the traditional you know, button down and trouser pants. Like always remember you got Olivia Palermo over here rocking some wild stuff a lot of the time and she always looks classy. It may not be what I would wear or what you would wear, but she always looks classy. So, you know, you don't have to just stick with these very cookie cutter things that have been around for a hundred years in order to look classy. Now I just want to point out that if I were going to wear the button down and the trouser pants, I'd probably do something like this. Like I'd put a black belt with it and black shoes just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, probably put a cool handbag, roll up my sleeves a little bit. You can tell I like a more relaxed, casual look, have that more of that vibe. Anyway, um, put some fun jewelry and then that's how, probably how what I would do with this. One outfit formula that I love that I just feel like it always looks classy, but also can look a little bit extra special and it's just super easy to do, but is if you just add one structured element to your outfit. This can actually go in so many videos and it does. It's often a point I make whenever we're talking about elevating your look or just trying to look a little bit more classy or looking a little bit more put together, I mean, adding a structured detail to an otherwise basic outfit can look really beautiful. And it looks a little bit more interesting. Super easy example of this would be basic t-shirt and jeans, and then I can add this silk trench coat, which is perfect for Florida. I can actually wear this even longer than I can wear my regular trench coat. Um, but it's just a structured detail I can add, and it looks beautiful, a little light outer layer. And it still looks very classy, but it looks a little bit more interesting. I mentioned in this video how um, one thing that I love to have in the spring and in the fall is a ladylike jacket, because it's quite different than a blazer, and it's just a different look. But you can easily put it on over a basic outfit and just immediately makes that outfit look way more elevated and not complicated at all. Very classy but not boring. This is another example of adding just a structured detail to a basic outfit. I have a basic tank top, I have the black pants, and um, I of course added some accessories, which I love, but I love that these pants have a pleat in them and they're just a little bit dressier. They're not too tight. You know, they balance out the top. It still looks classy and put together, but a little bit interesting. And then suiting vests, which have been a huge trend this year, are obviously a very easy way to add to almost any bottom to make it look a little bit more special, a little bit more interesting. Piggybacking off of this outfit is uh, putting together a monochrome outfit, but I want to give you some tips with the monochrome outfit because essentially, even though I love monochrome, like I love it, love it, love it, it also can start to feel a little bit boring in your monochrome outfit. And I think monochrome always looks classy, always looks classy, it's a beautiful look. But here are some tips, if you are putting together some monochrome outfits and you're like, I just feel like it still looks boring, here's what to do. I would look at the textures within your outfit. If they're all the same texture, they all look about the same, it might start feeling a little bit boring. So easy fix for this is to have two pieces, same color, same color family or same tones, but you have different textures. So the black outfit I just showed you is a great example. I have a different texture on the bottom than the top and it makes it look a little bit special, but it's still a monochrome outfit, still easy on the eyes, but it doesn't feel boring. Another way to make a monochrome outfit feel a little bit less boring is to not have the exact same shade. And so I know that like 20 years ago, it was like we were trying to match the black with this black and it had to match perfectly and um, it was just very important. But I don't know if that was the trends of move and I'm not sure why, but now I just think it looks better if they're a little bit different. I love it when people wear like gray or charcoal jeans with a black top. I think that contrast looks beautiful. 
But I've also expressed to you before that I love like ivory or beige and white put together. That can be so beautiful and it looks more intentional. It has more of a contrast to it. This is a personal preference. You might be like, no, they must be the same color white. And if that's so, then obviously you would want to stick, <laughs> stick with it there. But I love doing different tones of the same color. Browns are another one. I've always suggested that, you know, if you're having a problem figuring out what outfit to wear, go to like one color in your closet, which you have a lot of, for me as brown, and just pull out different shades of brown, put them together and make a monochrome outfit and it can look really beautiful. And, and speaking of using colors, another color combination that always looks classy, but could look boring is black and white. And I love black and white. Victoria Beckham, she wears black and white outfits quite often. It's such an easy combination. It always looks classy. I mean, obviously, as long as the styles are classy and it's not like, you know, something like that. But um, but black and white always looks beautiful and classy. However, sometimes it could, it could get a little bit boring. If you have black trouser pants and you do a white button down, yeah, it looks a little, maybe feels a little bit like you're going to cater a job. So one thing you could do is flip those. If you have a white bottom and a black top, that often can solve that problem and then it immediately looks um, a little bit more stylish or a little bit more like, ooh, like white pants, black top, never seen that before. Um, it looks a little bit more interesting. So I hope you liked this video and got some interesting ideas. I do recommend always just playing around in your closet and playing around with your accessories. If there's an outfit that you feel it looks classy but kind of boring, maybe swap one of the items out or add some more accessories or try some different shoes or try to find one thing that looks a little bit more special to add to it, a little more special and unique. So anyway, thank you for, to Goelia for sponsoring this video. I will link all of the items I'm wearing in the description box below. I will link my discount code as well, which is an extra 10% off of their um, discounts they already have on their website. So I hope you're having a good spring so far. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't, and consider subscribing if you are new here, and I will see you next time.